Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Swiss Beauty Plump Up Wet Lip Gloss. Now they have come out with 12 shades. I have all the 12 shades with me. For foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. So if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it which is notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right in the video. So first, let's quickly go over with the benefits. Now, it says that this lip gloss offers ultimate sheer coverage and makes your lips shine, giving you a glass-like wet gloss shine. The Swiss Beauty Plump Up Wet Lip Gloss doesn't make your lips feel heavy and sits on as a weightless gloss, as light as a feather. Savior for all desired events, the formulation of Swiss Beauty's Plump Up Wet Lip Gloss makes your lips look fuller and gives a plumped up look. The doe foot applicator makes application of the product very smooth, making it easy to apply and gives the desired result in a single cushiony swipe. So just swipe it up. Now, like I mentioned before, they offered a total of 12 shades and these are priced at 249 rupees for 2 ml of product and I picked mine off of Nykaa. So this is how the packaging looks like, which comes in a silver cap with silver writing. At the bottom, you have the shade name and number and at the side as well, there is a shade number. And this is how the wand looks like. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches.
All right, so let's go over with the formula, the pros and the cons. So the first point is that these are quite thin in consistency. It's not heavy like a lip lacquer. It's not goopy or anything of that sort. And at the same time, it gives a very nice glass like shine on your lips. Now for the pigmentation of these lip glosses, it will depend upon your skin tone as well as how pigmented your lips are. Like for example, my lips are pigmented and for me, I had to go over a couple of layers to get the right opacity as per my choice. However, some of the shades, they are quite pigmented. So I had to just go over like once and I was happy with it. Even after layering it up, it did not feel heavy or goopy. Like right now I have mixed like two different shades and I went through like two or three layers. But even then it does not feel heavy heavy at the same time when I'm talking it does not feel sticky or stringy or anything because I do not like that type of lip glosses. Now the wand for these lip glosses are quite soft and it is a little flexible as well so it was easier for me to apply these glosses especially around the inner corner of my lips. Since it is a gloss these are not transfer proof and if you are wearing a mask I will not recommend using these because it will go all over your mouth it does not feel good at all and even if you have water something like a snack it does not last at long and you will have to reapply throughout the day like coming to longevity it lasted until I had even like a little snack and then I had to reapply them these can be used on its own or you can pair it up with a lip liner or a lipstick or even as a lip topper it will be perfect and lastly there is a proper arm swatch available online like I am so tired of saying this time and again as a con for so many other products and brands as well so yeah finally there is a proper human beings arm that has been swatched with the lip glosses which is great by the way suddenly it has become cloudy so the lighting is a bit weird please don't mind that and now for the FII the first point is that there is no smell to these glosses which is great the second point is that there are no shimmer particles or glitter particles in these lip glosses and for the last FII is that there is only one shade like literally just one shade out of the 12 of them which gave a bit of a tingling sensation and my lips were warm like it was literally warm for like five to six minutes none of the other shades were like that and that is shade number 10 if that happened even to you because i am so confused none of the other shades do that just this shade alone and i tried it like three four multiple times and every other time this exact same thing happened but none of the others did so yeah FII and lastly for the cons there is just one point is the quantity that you get for the price so these glosses only have about 2 ml of product which is quite less when you compare other lip glosses in a similar price range now they all vary between like 3 or 4 ml but these are only 2 ml personally for me this is not like a huge deal breaker but yeah the quantity is less so overall in my personal opinion I do love and highly recommend these lip glosses however if you are planning to buy it I will highly recommend waiting for a sale and then pick it up and also ensure that you do watch other YouTube videos so that you can refer and pick out the right shades for you because some of them may not show up on your skin tone so yeah make sure that you do choose wisely and yeah, these were my thoughts on the Swiss Beauty plump up lip gloss and this finally wraps today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then do not forget to subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it certified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or request i will try and visit for you as well as follow me on my socials with Schneier on instagram and Schneier on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye